Hey, what is up guys? It's your Red Dead Head here with another video on Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, I'll be talking about the vast, atmospheric map that Rockstar Games have promised us in this upcoming game, considering the setting, size and design. If you're new to the channel, make sure to consider subscribing for more upcoming Red Dead Redemption 2 content like this. So without any further delay, let's dive right into it. When Rockstar Games announced Red Dead Redemption 2 back in October 2016, they did so along with the following statement. Developed by the creators of Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. The game's vast and atmospheric world will also provide the foundation for a brand new online multiplayer experience. Now the key word I want to focus on here is heartland, which refers to a collection of states that constitute the Midwest, as shown in this map. Although mainly referring to the central and northern states in the Midwest, some definitions include the southern states close to the Mississippi River. Given that Red Dead Redemption was set in the fictional replicates of Texas and Mexico, it is reasonable to assume that the heartland referred to in Red Dead Redemption 2 is specifically those mid and southern states around the Mississippi River. This would mean that the game is set to the east of Red Dead Redemption, which makes sense given the references made in the game to John Marston's gang coming from the east. Fictional replications of states like Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Missouri and Tennessee would give rise to wetlands, temperate deciduous forests, grasslands, and mountainous regions. Let's apply that knowledge now to the announcement trailer. Wetlands, temperate forests, grasslands, and mountainous regions. Okay, so far so good. For the record, I would also say that with all the information that we have about the setting of Red Dead Redemption 2, I think we can make an educated guess that we will not be seeing any parts of Mexico return for this game. Rockstar have also mentioned that the map will be vast. Whether they mean that it will feel vast or legitimately be vast in terms of area is yet to be revealed. We can definitely expect a map that is bigger in both ways than the one we got in Red Dead Redemption. Grand Theft Auto V's map, set in the fictional state of San Andreas, was indeed huge, but when you are flying around in a high-speed military jet, it begins to feel quite small. Of course, in Red Dead Redemption 2, don't expect to see any transport that will take you faster than a galloping horse. So will Rockstar Games go for a map smaller than San Andreas but that feels massive because we are travelling more slowly? Although I wish it weren't so. I get the feeling that Rockstar may have opted for this, since it allows them to devote more attention to the world they are creating if they don't make it too massive. We have not yet been let down by their ambition in a map's scale or detail, and I very much doubt this will change with Red Dead Redemption 2, given how long the game has been in development, and what small bits of the map we have seen in the trailer. From what we have gathered so far, we will see Rockstar's reimagining of the Wild West at a time before that of Red Dead Redemption. Towns like Blackwater may still exist, but in a smaller, less developed form. From the trailer, the larger settlements that were showcased featured muddy roads, as opposed to the cobbled streets we saw in 1911 Blackwater. It may also be prudent to take into account the better hardware Rockstar are working with for this title, meaning we could see a busier map, with more ranches, settlements and infrastructure, and more life forms populating them. The scene from Worth's General Store already shows us a busier environment than what we got before, so I am excited to see how that translates to other areas of the map. The open world in Red Dead Redemption 2 has also been designed with much more diverse biomes in mind, with huge mountains rising up from forests and valleys. Rockstar will also be adding, for the first time, the ability to travel in and on water, meaning we could also see a detailed environment at the bottom of rivers and lakes, just like we saw in Grand Theft Auto V. Before the end of this video, I would also like to briefly touch on the leaked map that surfaced on the internet around this time last year. In this map, we see a world set directly east of the one we explored in Red Dead Redemption, in fact sharing West Elizabeth and then spreading northwards and eastwards. There were videos made at the time the trailer came out, comparing scenes we saw in the trailer with potential locations in the leaked map, and to be honest, they kind of added up. Tech Radar also stated that their source close to the game's development confirmed its legitimacy. So how does this leaked map compare to what we were looking at earlier? Well, it seems to stack up quite well against it. We see our wetlands, deciduous forest regions, mountains and grasslands, plus other biomes included in this map, like meadows and plains. Of course, it's obvious from its layout that this map came from midway through development, so there could well be changes made between then and release that will be a nice surprise for those already accustomed to this leaked design. And naturally, nothing compares to actually travelling around this world on your very own horse, so we've got that to look forward to as well. So that's a brief overview of the map we can expect to see in Red Dead Redemption 2. We know where it will be set, 
the types of biomes we will experience, and certain design features Rockstar Games have included in this open world. What are your thoughts on the things discussed in this video? Do you think the leaked map is real? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and share it with your friends. In next week's video, I'll be taking questions from you about any aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Simply contact me on Twitter at Red Dead underscore head with your question. If you don't have Twitter, just leave your question as a comment on this video. So with that, thank you for watching and see you in the next one, Outlaws.